Hey there guys, DMO73 here with my buddy Sam Lahuye. He played that uh, two owed me handily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with that uh, green, white, black uh, Abdul list. So it's a control list, so I thought we would want to give you a uh, peek at it. So why don't you t tell us about it a little bit. Alright, so obviously, I mean, we have Ebony Prophet into Abdul just because he's just so good and it gives you that Necronomicon Law of Silence loop. So Yeah, absolutely. Lead off with that. I felt it. I mm -hmm. felt the Necronomicon loop. Yeah. Stones, if you're playing Abdul, you play this, you can flip them over for one. Okay. And then you got your four black sil like your four black silences. Get you that green black. Um because I'm playing Gretel, so you want the green to always hit. Um I'm not playing red, I'm playing white instead for Dreams of Juliet, which we'll talk about later. That's why we have the green whites and not red. And then, because you have to respect Split Heaven a little bit, just two windstones, because you don't need the four whites. Right, absolutely. Um, respect the splits. So, for sure. That's why you got those. All right, moving into Resonators. We've got three Familiar with the Holy Winds, just because, I mean, they can get down there early block and they draw you a card. So, yep. I, I really like that. I didn't have them in my original list, but then, like, I saw some um, people that were top eighting in like Italy, California, whatever, and then these were in there, and it works out really well, just recycling cards better. Um, Elvis Priest, Mana Ramps, Mana Ramps, um, your Gretels, like I said earlier, you always want to be hitting your stones, so yep. um, I switched it up, because I originally had a uh, feasting, the Feasting Holy Wind Stone in there, but then that's two misses, and I was just getting a lot of hits with group, uh, Groups Let's Go, or yeah. that, so that's why I took that out and added another Wind Stone, so that way you can most of the yeah, time absolutely. hit Yeah, absolutely, I know the, know the feeling of the bad Gretel hits. Yeah. Um, Another card that I have that's a little bit different is a speaker creation. Okay. Um, when it, it's a two drop, when it enters, you search your um, deck for a, a addition field, so that's how you can grab your Necronomicon. Oh, okay. And then also it has an activate, pay one white, banish, you can destroy target addition. So in case you're playing a, uh, oh, a Shahrazad start deck or um, uh, Kaguya or Kaguya. Get it at 1.0. Get, get it out of there. <laughs> Um, you can just take off something from there, but it's just another hit and a body to help get you to your um, Necronomicon. Yeah, absolutely, great. Tem um, tempo play for sure. Yeah. Um, two Guardias just so, um, turn three if you don't have, because you need double black to flip, um, uh, Abdul, or if you have Group Lefsko, or Necronomicon, you need three blacks, so this will help you get there for that. Okay, so question real quick, mm -hmm. um, if you had Feastings, would you prefer Feastings over Guardia, or do you like Guardia, uh, you think more in this build? Um, I think you can honestly do either. Like I like I like Guardia just because also it's bigger, so um, it can withstand. Like I mean, Awakening at the end is not a big card, but at least it can withstand that. And it's just I'd rather have the the you find your card than uh, feasting. If you okay. I mean, it's more maybe because yeah. it's more permanent. Yeah, yeah, okay, a little bit more. I mean, Absolutely. both have their place. Like if you have if you have the money, like feastings are definitely like a fine play too. So okay, but sounds good. I just went with the Guardias. I'm a fan of Guardia. Mm -hmm. All right, then we just have two Carmillas. I mean. Spot removal, 800, 800. It does its job. Okay. Um. Then beaters for the deck. Your Mephistopheles. Um. He's mad. Everybody mad. knows about these cool guys. Flying target attack. Um. Uh, if anybody targets it, take 500, which is always good. And then at the end of your turn, banish another resonator. But if you have our good friend Abdul up, you can just zero him, so you don't have to get rid of another creature. All the, the pluses without any of the negatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah just be sure to blank him at the end of the turn yeah, after you've yeah, attacked. Yeah, blank at the end, yeah. Because otherwise, if you, if you do it before you attack, you lose flying and target attack, so it makes this card incredibly less work, or yeah. incredibly more bad. Right. <laughs> even even worse. Even worse. All okay. right. So now spell land? into spells. Got your four absolute cake zones just because like they're a great card. Counter any um, normal spell, so split heavens or any kill spells. You can just knock out those. And if you have Gretel and play, draw a card. Right. So another great effect with that. Um, then we've got uh, just three Zeeks. Okay. Um, counter target creature, make your stuff unblockable. Or, I mean, if the situation's relevant, um, pump your guys. And these are also pretty good in a mirror matchup because if, if they have like a Necronomicon and um, like you've killed their Abdul or something like that, you can just shuffle their library back in. Right, so, right, right. Or shuffle their graveyard back into their library so you can stop halting that play a little bit. Right, absolutely. Um Yeah. You know you know all about that, Necrona. Yeah, yeah, that's happened a couple times. That's happened a couple times off screen. Yeah, so. yeah. Alright, and then I've got two exceeds. I mean just cause three drop can counter anything seem is yeah, always pretty really good. Really like good. some lists I've only seen like one in there, but no, I like the I like the two a lot better. Having more counter engine is always uh -huh. good. Um, another this, one that people haven't been playing so much main board or less of uh, is yes. Law of Silence, but I Law don't see yeah. I don't see what um, like making your opponent not do anything for a turn is is bad. So 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. They have, have definitely matchups that this yeah. just destroys. Have those four of those just to completely, yeah, just stall your opponent because that's like a good, like turn two, turn three, you can do that and then you can drop the next card, Necronomicon, and then you have your perfect loop right there. Um, yeah, Necronomicon. Necronomicon with that yeah. duel and mm -hmm. yeah. Necronomicon. Um, if you don't know about, basically, you can play cards out of your graveyard. But whenever something goes into your graveyard, um, uh, it exiles instead. But you have the cool little loop with this guy. So when you have like a spell in the stack, so we'll just say we have a Dreams to Juliet on the stack. We cast this out of the graveyard from our hands. While this is in the chase, you can activate Abdul Zero to wipe this card. So it loses all its abilities. So since it's still in the chase, it'll just go right back to the graveyard. So you can lose so that forever. You, so that's what you do with Law of Silence. You on their turn, Law of Silence with Law of Silence in the chase. Zero that with Abdul goes back, and then you just make your opponent have a miserable time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Cool. Anything else? I got a couple yeah, The light more. packages, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dreams of Juliet, um, it's just a good for A, draw a card, B, destroy a, uh, um, a di uh, just an addition, so you can destroy addition res, addition fields, um, and then also another cool thing is if they have, um, just the Mephistopheles out there on their own turn, um, on their end step, when it goes to do, when, uh, if the trigger's still about to happen, right. you can blink that and the Mephistopheles will actually kill itself. Oh, yeah, card. yeah, yeah, because it treats it as a new uh -huh. card, right? So, it's yeah, also that's good, good for mirrors. that match. Yeah, good for mirrors, And for sure. then, um, just the four stonings, um, I play four stonings because I don't have the red, so I have less removal with, like, thunder and flames, but, yeah, four stonings are always good, just a spot removal on that package, so. Okay, yeah, awesome, so it's Sam Lahuyahe and his... Le, yeah, Le Huye. Le Huye. I, I got there eventually. Enough. Close enough. Uh -huh. And uh, his really, really awesome uh, green, white, black Abdul. I really like the fact that you uh, you went with white instead of red because yep. I know that a lot of people are going red right now. So yep. showing that yep. light still got what mm -hmm. it takes. So yeah, so thanks a lot. Let us know yep. what you guys thought about his deck, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get him on the channel a little bit more here. Yep. And uh, as always, guys, this is DMO73 signing off.